Hey guys, how's it going today? It's Professional here, and I am proud to present my first Red Dead Redemption 2 guide. I thought I would do it on the camp, because it's an essential part of the game, and an important starting area. Do not worry if you were confused, I was too. The game doesn't do a great job at explaining how the camp works the first time you enter it. There isn't really any spoilers in this video, but I will be mentioning some activities that you unlock. If I get anything wrong, please feel free to correct me because I'm just trying to help people with this guide, but I messed around with the camp and I have a pretty good idea of how it works. So here we go, you unlock the camp when you start up chapter 2, and you get told about the camp donation box. When I first got told about this box, I donated a lot of my money, but no nothing changed. What the game doesn't tell you is that in order to upgrade the camp, you have to complete this story mode mission, Money Lending and Other Sins for Strauss. You unlock it after completing a few missions in Chapter 2. Once you complete this mission, you unlock the Camp Ledger, where here you can upgrade the camp. You have a variety of options to upgrade the camp with. You can also see how much everyone donated, but you will still be the main one donating. If you do not donate for some time, Dutch will actually go up to you and ask you to donate. Arthur! Arthur! People are talking. You've stopped. you stopped working for us all. How'd you mean? No money in the box for ages. Come on, son. You're the best man among us. Don't go weak on me now. Please. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. Thank you, son. There are three main wagons in the camp. The ammunition wagon, which provides ammunition. The medical wagon, which provides medicine and helpful tonics. And the provisions wagon, which provides meals. When you enter the camp, you will see each of the three wagons highlighted in colors on the top right of your screen. Red represents really low supplies, white represents medium supplies, and yellow represents full or good supplies. From what I have seen, if you keep the supplies high, it increases morale. When morale is increased, people are more likely to donate. I personally recommend upgrading Dutch's tent first. It's expensive with $220, but the upgrade encourages people to donate more. I suggest upgrading his tent and then buying one upgrade in each wagon, or if you can't, buy supplies. This is a good investment early on, because think about it this way. If you upgrade everything first, and then you buy Dutch's tent last, the donations won't really matter as much, because you already bought the main upgrades. There are other upgrades as well, such as horse storage and chicken coops, which create better stews. Stews you can make once a day, and they replenish your Deadeye. You can also upgrade Arthur's tent, which will allow you to fast travel to camp. When supplies are high, you can go to each station and collect various goods from them. However, don't get greedy. Only take what you need. I started taking everything, and when this happened, it diminished the camp supplies really quickly. There are other activities you can do in the camp to encourage donations. Every in-game day, you have chores available at the camp. These are marked by black circles if you walk around the camp. You will not see them on the main map though, only on the mini-map. These involve you cutting wood, carrying hay to the horses, carrying water to the bins, and sacks to Pearson. When you complete these, you raise your honor level, and you also upgrade your Deadeye. I am pretty sure they raise morale as well, because the game tells you others will witness it, so I do suggest doing them every in-game day. You can also sleep at Arthur's tent, and can advance to the next day and do it again if you want. If you want to get some money for donations, I highly suggest you loot everything you can. Anytime you walk in the buildings, check drawers, look around for money and other valuable goods. Make sure to loot a lot of bodies of NPCs you kill. You never know what you will find. I have found ma many rare items on generic NPCs. You don't have to go crazy and loot every NPC. But if you get into a firefight, and you kill a lot of NPCs, loot their bodies. It's a good source of am ammunition, money, and rare items. You don't have to go to the store to sell these rare items either, you can donate them straight to the box as well. If you have other items you don't need, such as tonics and food, you can go to a general store in town and sell a lot of the items. Things like food and tonic you can't donate, so if you want to use them towards donations, you have to sell them at a general store. Two other good ways that I have found of getting money is the Strauss Debt Collection missions. You unlock these after the Money Lending and Other Sins mission. In these side missions, you go to collect debts from people, and you use them the full debt towards the camp fund. You also get a small cut of it. What's good about this activity is it isn't your direct money that you are investing in, but others. You can also do bounties, which you unlock at the sheriff's office after a few missions. You find a target, lasso them up, bring them to the sheriff, and get a good amount of money. Lastly, you can also donate to Pearson by bringing him meat and skins of animals that you hunted. You can get supplies from him and some camp funds. From what I have seen, it's not that much unless you kill a really good animal. I would personally just recommend buying provisions from the ledger for him. If you do choose to hunt, make sure to look at the map because it'll highlight where certain animals are, such as in this area it shows deer here. When you do hunt, make sure you use the binoculars because they can help you scout ahead 
and it will give you stats on the animal. It will tell you what weapon to use for a clean kill and what kind of rarity the animal is and its meat. You can also track it with binoculars. If you lose track of the animal, just press L3 and R3 on the PS4 or left and right stick on the Xbox. This will show you the last trail of the animal. Pearson will also offer upgrades where you can make your satchel better and hold more items, as well as camp cosmetics. And that is the end of this guide. I hope I helped make the camps more simple for you guys. They did not do a really good job at explaining them. If you guys have any questions, post them down below and I will try my best to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.